You saying hi? Hi! We are away from the baby. No baby. You know what that means. Are you going to talk about it on camera? I know. <laughs> I don't like this. What if he has a weapon? Call 911. <laughs> This is a birdie, and the birdie goes tweet, 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 <gasps> tweet, 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 tweet. Yeah, touch it. Da, 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 da. With your little hand like this. Yeah. Good morning, good morning. Hi, my love. Tari, are you looking at Olive? I have to hold Olive here because she really wants to steal her toys. Good morning, my baby. How are you? You saying hi? Hi. How are you feeling today? Getting a little better? This little girl is getting better. Yesterday, I tried a new thing. Yesterday was probably her sickest day. It was really hard to see you like that. Okay. All right, hold on. Hold on. Do some Christmas songs. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. La 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 la. That was the big finish. Okay, so we're gonna go like this. I'm gonna to talk to you guys. So yesterday was one of the toughest days with her cold. She was very congested. So I went on YouTube and I was like, how do you treat a cold in an infant? They were suggesting the same things that our doctor already suggested and that we've already been doing, which is like saline drops and suctioning boogers out of her nose with the Frida baby nose suction thing. I'll put everything down in the description. But there was one thing that we hadn't tried yet, and that was to go in a steamy shower with her. Obviously not into the water because you have to make the water pretty hot to get it nice and steamy. So I took a shower and then I had my husband um, hand her to me when I'm standing outside of the water. We just chilled in there, she breathed in the steam, and I really do think it helped her. And for the rest of the day, she was pretty good congestion-wise. She was definitely a lot better. You want a little more booby? Okay, I'm gonna give her a little more booby. All right, okay. We're back. Olive, that's not your toy. I'm just gonna have to throw it in a wash. Oh my God. I'm a mess. So anyway, it's currently Monday. This Thursday is Thanksgiving. Today we are going to have to buy some things for Thanksgiving. Yeah, just kind of prepare for the holidays. Look at this. This is a milk drunk baby. You see, when the hand hangs low like that, that's how we really know that she's satisfied and she's milk drunk and she's ready for a nap. Oh snap. Mom and dad are out and about. We are away from the baby. No baby. You know what that means. Thanksgiving shopping. <laughs> Running errands, nothing romantic whatsoever. <laughs> the baby is with Glamma back at my parents' house. We are out and about doing last minute Thanksgiving food shopping. <laughs> food shopping, groceries. <laughs> what? <laughs> food shopping, the shopping for the food. We are getting that done. Lady. This chick just backed out of a parking space without mm -hmm. looking at all. At all. At all. Okay, we have to run into the store. Okay, bye. Something sounds like demonetization. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Insert a different kind of music. <laughs> so we're we're kind of in a hurry here because our daughter is with Glamma and I pumped enough milk 
that should totally cover for us to be gone for hours, except you just never know. And sometimes she has days where she wakes up and she is just like, I wanna eat so much today. And she doesn't take her full two hour naps because she keeps waking up and wanting to eat. So the milk supply that's in the fridge should last, but we're still hurrying because we just don't want it to, you know, we don't wanna cut it close. We got our plant-based chicken for our turkey, basically. A bunch of things from Walmart. And now we are going to Sam's Club for the final three things on the list. We've been making really good time today. We are getting sweet potato pie, Hawaiian rolls, the veggies, like a big thing of green beans or asparagus. We get to decide. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a preference? Green beans are less stinky when you be. That is true. I'm, I'm feeling asparagus. Okay. It'll just uh, remind you of that Thanksgiving meal when you use the restroom. Like, mm. Yeah, that was a good meal. It's a good meal. <sighs> <laughs> good Thanksgiving. Mm. Oh boy, we are not gonna find parking. <laughs> we are diving in to the mother load of holiday shopping stores. Holiday food shopping stores. <laughs> oh snap, this would be a great location. Location, location, location. I'm willing to wait, lady. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna talk about it on camera? I know. <laughs> this chick definitely That butt ain't real. No. <laughs> that butt is not real. Uh, no. I mean good for her. She's beautiful. She's very beautiful. But I'm just saying, that butt is not real. Yay, we got the space. Woo! That's a good location. It's Christmas. Dun, 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 dun. It's quiz moist. <laughs> If you guys haven't seen Camila Cabello singing, I'll be home for Queen's like, Moist. I know, I'm gonna do a real quick, a quick little piece, a little snippet in here. Watch this. Oh my god! So cute! This has gotta be the coolest thing I've ever seen. You're so jealous. I want it. Okay, we gotta focus. This pair of gifts are gorgeous. Wow, let's go. We successfully got everything for Thanksgiving dinner. And you know what? I was really impressed because I expected it to be like way busier than it was. Yeah, it was like really easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Successful trip. It's the next day. I'm still wearing the same outfit. I was just editing my new vlog, which is on this channel. If you want to see it, then click up there. But yeah, I was just editing that vlog and I checked my Instagram really fast and I had this amazing message from such a lovely follower, Maria. Thank you so much for following this journey. And she suggested that I maybe give a little bit of advice on breastfeeding. Also, she's pregnant, so congratulations, girl. And I thought that was so awesome of her to give me a suggestion. And just so you guys know, I am super open to any suggestions or just hearing from you guys. Like if you guys have a specific thing you want to hear me talk about hit me up on instagram like i have my socials in the description always um you can leave comments i check my comments all the time so yeah you can drop it in the comment section here if i just get like some questions here and there then i thought it'd be cool to do like a segment of my vlogs where i'm literally just like answering your guys' questions i feel like we need to name it what should we call it like if i was to do this segment um I don't know, what do you guys think? What should it be called? But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, try and give some advice here. Breastfeeding is hard. Like if you research it, they're like, it's not supposed to hurt. It is not supposed to be hard. But the reality is from what I've heard and what I've personally experienced, it is hard and it is painful in the beginning. So for me personally, I started my breastfeeding journey with a bad latch. I was feeding her so much improperly that my nipples got super raw and they even started bleeding. It got so painful to the point where when she was hungry, I literally like burst into tears because I was so scared of like the pain I was going to feel when she latched on. Now that I'm looking back on it, what I would have done differently is talk to a lactation consultant immediately. I had the option while I was in the hospital to contact the lactation consultant at any moment, but I thought I was doing it right. I don't need to call them. So yeah, lactation consultants, super awesome. Use that help. But I will say that at this point, which by the way, she is one month old today. By this point, we've got it down. Everything's good. 
Now, if this does happen to you, this is what I did to heal my nipples. I had this wonderful service that was offered to me at the hospital that was like nurses that would come to your home and just make sure that she's developing at the right rate, check up on me, check up on us as a family. So it's a really cool service. And so we opted in for that. And before our first appointment even came up, I was struggling so bad. She came right over and she brought these things that were literally my godsend lifesavers. Medela hydrogel pads and then nipple shields, which the ones that I had, Lancino. The hydrogel pads are like almost like pasties, like little stickers that go over your nipple. You pop those in the fridge and that way they cool down and they're nice and cold. Peel off the film that's covering the sticky part. But here's the thing though, do not stick the sticky part onto your nipple without putting some water on it first. You will suffer when you peel it off if you're just straight up like full adhesive. The nurse told me to just like run the sticky part under some water real fast and then stick it on and it just feels so good. Now the other thing about that is that before you feed again, you do have to kind of clean the area. You just take like a, a wet paper towel and just kind of like wash it a little bit. Do not use soap because it just dries out your nipples. It makes it worse. And then the nipple shields are exactly what they sound like. They, they literally go over your nipple so that it's not her full force on my nipple. These ones that I used were really soft and really like natural feeling for her. So she was good with it, but they were lifesavers. So just put a little protection between me and her mouth and allowed my nipples to not get tugged on and worked as hard as they have been so that they could have some room to heal. Okay, so that's me answering that, that question. I hope that helped, Maria. And if you have any more questions, then feel free to drop them in the comments. That was today's Mommy's Corner question. If you have a better suggestion on what we should call this segment of the vlogs, please also comment that below. Guess what? I'm taking a shower. <laughs> Woo! Yes. And I only have a little bit of time because she's gonna wake up screaming because it's just about time for her to eat her food. So gotta do this. I gotta do it fast. <laughs> Showers hit different when you've had a baby. Just to have that time to step away from the baby for a second and do something for yourself, so nice. Now I'm gonna try to get real wild. I'm gonna try to blow dry and kind of curl my hair a little bit. I don't hear her crying, so let's see. Okay, I managed to like blow dry my hair and this side is questionable on the curl, but this side curled cutely. I cannot believe I'm still not hearing my baby cry. She's with my husband. I'm gonna push it a little further. I'm gonna put makeup on. My mom just called me from downstairs and is like, um, so Aria's awake, so um, should we feed her the breast milk in the fridge or are you gonna feed her? And I'm like, no, I'm gonna feed her, save it for later. Just stall her. <laughs> One thing I've learned about surviving as a mom is you have to seize the moments. So like when she is sleeping, even if I'm in the middle of watching my favorite TV show, turn it off, I'll finish it at some point later when she when I'm breastfeeding or something. But right now there's more important things to do. Wash the bottles, I can sanitize my pumping parts, I can work on my vlogs, I can write a song. Like there's a lot of other things that I can accomplish while she's sleeping. So it's like, you gotta seize the moments. Today, since she wasn't crying, I seized the moment and I decided to make myself look good. Here we are. Oh my God, feels good. But now she's awake and I need to go feed her, so. Well, today I decided to ask you out on the date. Aw, you sure did. The baby is with Glamma. We are going to our favorite buffet. <laughs> An Asian buffet that we love, 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 love so much that's near my parents' house. But it's not super near. My parents live in this like tiny town, so we have to go into the main town. So we were like, not really sure if we were gonna do it or if we weren't gonna do it because it's like a 30 minute drive into town and then eating obviously and then new baby mask. Yeah. Four ounces. That's one feeding that equals two yeah. hours post feeding plus the hour and a half before her next feeding, but she could only last one hour past those four ounces. So we have anywhere between two and a half to three and a half hours. Yeah. So yeah, we had to do a bunch of math and we think 
we'll be fine. This is what happens when you have a baby. Yeah. <laughs> that sun is very bright. Aren't we in winter, California? Yeah. Oh, there's an interesting character. That's certainly an interesting character. He thinks he's got a sword. And he has like a plate that he's playing with. Huh? Mm -hmm. I'm scared. Mm -hmm. Okay, we gotta get in there. He's just standing in the street mm -hmm. with his plate that has like two holes in it for eyes. I don't like this. Mm -hmm. What if he has a weapon? He doesn't. He's got like a cardboard tube. Okay, let's go. You guys. Call 911 if anything happens. was delish. It really hit the spot. We totally had enough time. Ah, <laughs> uh, such interesting people. <laughs> yeah, there was a couple that didn't know how a buffet worked. <laughs> yeah, there was a couple in there, like yeah. our age, who it seemed like, I mean, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but it seemed like they didn't understand what a buffet I'm was. Struggling to understand the concept. <laughs> It was very interesting. I don't understand what was happening. You know how like the host will take you to your table. You don't sit down because you're gonna just go get your food from the buffet, obviously. So they got walked to their table and they sat down immediately. So that was the first thing I noticed and I was like, huh. maybe they're waiting for somebody. And a little bit later, I noticed that they're like looking around at everybody. Like they looked confused. Like they were trying to figure out what was going on or what they should be doing. Here, I'm gonna put this here. Yeah, so I saw that and then they got up. So I'm like, oh, okay, now they're gonna go get their food. They started walking and they walk past me and I'm only getting like little bits of whatever conversation they're having. And the girl was like, our food. Like she's talking to the guy she's with and she's like, our food. And then she was like, I thought that it was. So I'm, I'm picking up that she was like, talking about how they get their food and it's just not what she thought it was. Then they come back to their table with empty plates in their empty hands plates. and they're at their table and I'm like- For like a minute. Yeah, they're at their table for like a minute with empty plates. So now the plot thickens. Then they get up and they leave with their empty plates. They go back to the buffet. And then they walked back to the table. They walked by again with empty plates. I heard them say something about, I'm worried that our food won't be blank. And then the guy was like, well, let's just try everything. Let's just try everything. We saw them with empty plates just... again before we left and they just looked confused. And not once yeah. did we see them eat that the whole time. Like, Yeah, they were like walking around, looking at things and looking confused. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, what is going on? <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh, well, you're crooked, I'm sorry. Have they never <laughs> been to a buffet before? Are they from uh... another planet? Are they aliens? Like, this is a real question that I have now. <laughs> it, was, it was just so interesting. You know, when you go out into the wild, like we did today, you find some interesting characters and it's pretty fun actually. Yeah. I wonder if they're eating yet. I uh, hope so. I sure hope so. They must be hungry. <laughs> Is that a real lady standing on the corner? Yeah. She's standing She's on top of She's just so something. frozen. Yeah, that is weird. Is she holding a sign? She seems like a mannequin. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> I don't know, now you got me questioning it. I'm not sure. I think that's mannequin. a mannequin. Definitely a it's mannequin. It's a mannequin, though. It's for sure a mannequin. That's weird. Oh. <laughs> what? Spooky. Spooky. <laughs> I haven't done vocal warm ups in so long. So, a change of plans. We were on our way home, and then my dad called and was like, Are you still next to Costco? There's an early Black Friday sale on a security system that I want. If you guys can maybe pick it up. So, we were like, Well, we can get back on the freeway and just go right back. So, we're at Costco, and I just now realized we're at Costco the day before Thanksgiving. And I think we're actually insane for this. <laughs> Let's venture into this hell hole. I feel like I'm actually 
actually being tortured. I am cold. It is like not warm enough. It's not super, super cold, but it's just cold enough to make me suffer. Not to be negative, but I'm being negative. <laughs> we survived. We're out, thank God. Now we go home to our child. We're back home. Someone sleeping. She's milk drunk right now. Thanks for going out with me. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Oh, I shiver, 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 oh no. At the thought of someone new. With their hands all over you. Need a way.